the movie opens in a convenience store one late night with a small time drug dealer named Nick is trying to decide what coffee brand to buy. His ex lover Dallas and fellow hitman Billy Hill are getting impatient and tell him to hurry up. Just get the fucking coffee, let's go. Nick finally chooses chocolate but the dispenser is empty. He complains to the cashier. The next morning, Nick shows up to the doorstep of Cassie Wells. An old partner from his days as a drug dealer in Los Angeles. Casey has cleaned up his life. He is now a married architect and is looking to adopt a child with his wife. Nick leaves a couple of suitcases in Casey's guest room before leaving to run some errands. After Nick leaves, Casey becomes suspicious of one of the suitcases and eventually opens it. to find it filled with heroin. After calling Nick to yell at him, I just want to know one thing. I want to know what kind of fucking drugs you were on. Pedal your ass back here. Pick up your shit. Get the fuck out of my house. For bringing drugs into his home, he disposes all of it in the kitchen sink. Ice, a Jamaican hitman, enters Casey's house and is about to kill him. But Casey manages to persuade him to have a last smoke of marijuana. I think I could use a little ganja. After having smoked, Ice is about to kill Casey. It's time. Bro. Big. When Ice's cell phone rings, Ice begins to rap over the phone in an effort to clinch a record deal, and Casey seizes the moment and knocks him out. <laughs> Casey then ties him up and leaves him in the garage. A representative from the adoption agency comes to interview Casey about his fitness to be a father. The representative particularly curious to know what Casey did for several years when he was in LA. I was asking you about LA. As there is no account of his time there. There's a gap of 2 to 2 and a half years. Casey tries his best to cover up his past as well as his recent encounter with the hitman. During the interview, Dallas, who wants the money that she believes Nick left with Casey along with the heroin, shows up. She scares away the representative from the adoption agency by telling a story about Casey's drug dealing past and murdering. When left alone with Casey, Dallas questions him about the money's whereabout. Where is it? Angry that he cannot help her. What fucking? He breaks in and shoots her. <laughs> Plattering her blood all over Casey, his walls and his floor. Billy believes Casey when he told that he does not have the heroin, but plans to torture him with a saw and a blow torch anyhow. Ready to get started? While he brags about his powerlessness and technique of torture that sets his work apart from others, he is interrupted by the cop. Ironically, raiding the house next door as Billy checks on it, Casey is able to loosen the tape around his wrist and grabs a frying pan and sits back down. Billy returns and tells Casey the cops got the wrong house. They busted up the wrong house. They went in. As he is about to proceed, he notices something is wrong, but catching Billy off guard. <laughs> Casey overpowers him and leaves him in the garage. Nick calls Casey from a payphone, apologize for everything. I love you, Case. I'm sorry about the shit. And admits that he had stolen the heroin and money from the police. I stole it from the cops and uh, they were After he hangs up, it is revealed to us that Nick has been shot and is bleeding severely, seemingly about to die. Finally, a corrupt cop arrives with a bag which contains Nick's head. He gives Casey until 7 p.m. to find the money. 7. Sharp. but tells him that he does not care about the heroin the cop then sees the garage with ice and billy tied up and dallas dead and unloads a magazine into ice and billy he then tells kc to throw them out as it is garbage day I clean up this mess i think today's garbage day In the end, AC calls Ice's boss and tells him that the heroin is about to be auctioned at 7 p.m. at his house. Pass at 7 because I'm auctioning the shit off. He recalls Nick's earlier words, which promptly lead him to find the money and a wedding present in the space tire of his car. 
He takes them, puts them in Dallas's Lamborghini, and goes to pick his wife from the airport. Presumably, escapes the country. The movie ends as we see the cops and Jamaicans, both armed, about to meet each other at the house. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comment section below which movie you want us to recap next. As always, until the next time.